This is Roborock's newest robot vacuum and it's self-cleaning dock. It vacuums, it mops, it empties its own dustbin and its dirty water. It refills itself with clean water. It cleans its own mop and much, much more. This thing is truly unlike any other smart robot vacuum that I've ever used. And today I'm gonna to show you why it might be the best option for your HomeKit smart home. Let's go. Yo, what's up guys? My name is Shane, if you're new here, and this channel is all about building an easy smart home using Apple's HomeKit with new videos published every Sunday and live streams every Wednesday. So I recently received the new Roborock S7 Max V Ultra. I was quite excited to try this thing out. We're gonna take a look at everything this can do, of course, the features and all that. And we're gonna also take a look at the different ways you might can integrate this into your HomeKit setup. Now, as you may know, robot vacuums are still not a supported product category within HomeKit. So there's no native HomeKit support, but this one does support Siri shortcuts out of the box, which is great. That means you can control this thing with Siri voice commands or in your Siri shortcuts. So we'll talk a little bit about that and we'll also look at using HomeBridge or Hoobs as sort of a workaround to getting this into HomeKit because that's also possible if that's something you want to do. Big thanks to Roborock for sending this out to me and for sponsoring today's video. As always, chapters are below in case you want to skip around to any certain parts of this video. Uh, we got a lot to cover, so let's jump right in. The vacuum itself is the Roborock S7 Max V. It's Roborock's premier robot vacuum. You can actually buy the vacuum itself with just you know a standard charging dock, or you can get the S7 Max V Plus, which includes an auto emptying dust bin. And then we have the S7 Max V Ultra, which is what we have here today. And this has that empty wash fill dock with the auto emptying dust bin, auto mop washing, and auto water refilling. The vacuum itself is actually the exact same on all three of these, the only difference uh, in the standard, the plus, and the ultra is that docking system. The S7 Max V is available now for about $860, and the auto emptying dock will launch on May 2nd for $540. So if you got the whole S7 Max V Ultra package, you're looking at around $1,400. So it's not cheap. Now let's go ahead and discuss all the features and try to determine if it's worth that high price tag. You can see the three bins here for this thing. You got your dirty water, your clean water, and your dust bin. The vacuum and the dock will auto empty the dust bin, giving you up to seven weeks without having to empty the bag. I really like the self sealed design of this bag that makes it real easy to dispose of the bag without getting dust everywhere. Just a small design touch here that I think is really nice as somebody who's used robot vacuums in the past. Uh, emptying those dust bins is always kind of a pain, you know, and I have allergies. Dust is always usually flying up as I empty those in the trash can and stuff. So this right here eliminates that issue completely. So I really like that. The dock has this crazy washing module here that scrubs and wipes the mop before, during, and after cleaning so that it's never mopping your floor with a dirty mop. Starting to wash the mop. You can adjust the intervals, you know, at which the mop will return to the dock during cleaning to clean that mop. And it'll actually clean the base in the process and will eject the dirty water into that dirty water bin. So this is pretty unique. I don't know of any other vacuum cleaners that can do all that. When you start a cleaning, the S7 Max V leaves the dock, it turns around and then backs into the dock to wet the mop and fill up the water tank. This is where that clean water comes out from and enters the water tank right here. The onboard water tank will be automatically refilled, you know, with the clean water when it runs low for a mopping range of over 3,200 square feet. The dock's clean water tank can hold three liters of water, which is a lot, it really depends on how often you mop and your clean settings that you set in the app that'll determine how long you know one of these tanks last. You can add a cleaning solution to the clean water tank. Roborock actually sells some cleaning solution that they recommend using to ensure that it doesn't mess up the hardware. I'm sure you could use some other cleaning solutions out there, but 
you know, just to protect that investment, you might just wanna go ahead and use the one that RoboRock recommends just to be safe. Basically, I just add one little cap full of this solution to each full water tank and I'm good to go. Here are the charging ports. It features fast charging going from empty to fully charged in four hours. The previous version needed six hours to get you know, a full charge. And just recently they announced a new off-peak charging feature. So with this enabled, it will only charge to 30% during peak hours and it'll charge to full during off-peak hours, lowering your electricity costs. There's a little LED on the base as well as on the vacuum that changes colors and things like that based on what the vacuum and the dock are doing. I like that the one on the base turns red if a bin is missing or not aligned just right. The vacuum has a maximum suction of 5100 pascal that's more than double the suction power of the s6 now i'm not a vacuum expert or anything like that uh, but i know this does a really good job at getting stuff up and it's the most powerful by far in terms of suction that roborock offers there's a mop bracket that can be removed or attached and the device knows whether the mop is attached or not so it won't try to mop if you know, the mop is not attached. The mop scrubs floors up to 3,000 times per minute with high pressure to break up any dirt and clean the floors. One thing I really like is that it has intelligent mop lifting, so when it detects a carpet, it will actually lift the mop out of the way, so you're actually able to mop hardwood floors and vacuum carpets all in one cycle. That's just pretty amazing. And when it's docked, it will raise the mop so it can dry. The S7 Max V has better obstacle recognition and avoidance than I've ever seen on any robot vacuum, thanks to something they call Reactive AI, which is using LiDAR navigation combined with an onboard RGB camera system. This means it can detect and avoid obstacles, furniture, and yes, dog poop, regardless of light levels. It's actually smart enough to get up close to things like shoes or toys, but staying far away from, you know, pet waste. Pretty amazing. If you've ever seen a robot smear dog <coughs> all over your house, you will appreciate how amazing this feature is and how well it actually seems to work. And using this technology, the vacuum can also accurately map out your floor and even detect furniture and rooms. You have multiple options for viewing your map in the app. There is a 2D and a 3D option, which is pretty cool. And even a matrix option, which is basically a 360 degree panoramic map that's generated using the LiDAR scanner of your iPhone. You can tap on furniture to start a quick clean around that piece of furniture, which is really cool. So, you know, you can do a quick clean around the dining table after a messy breakfast just by tapping it. Of course, you can map out your rooms in the app and send the vacuum to clean specific rooms. You can even have different clean settings for those rooms, which is really cool. And of course, you can always choose if you want to vacuum, mop, or both while being able to adjust the suction power of the vacuum and the scrub intensity of the mop. You can also set up invisible walls, no-go zones, and no-mop zones. One really cool feature that I like is the pin and go feature that allows you to drop a pin anywhere on your map to send the vacuum to automatically where you can just do a quick little spot clean. And yes, you heard that right. A second ago, there is a camera on board this thing and you can actually use it. So this is pretty crazy. You can drive the robot vacuum around with the app like it's some kind of little home spaceship or something. You can go wherever you want to check on your house or just tap on a room to send it there automatically. It also has a microphone, so you can actually have real-time two-way video calls. Of course, video is only one way, but two-way audio calls from your vacuum. I know most of y'all probably just want this so you can talk to your dog from your vacuum while you're at work, which is awesome. In order to use the remote viewing option, you do have to physically turn this on on the actual vacuum itself first, which is a nice little security feature. This is good, you know, it means you have to physically be there to enable it before you can access 
remote viewing from the vacuum. There are lots of options for washing and emptying modes that you can adjust in the app settings based on your needs. You can set up and customize routines in the app, which is pretty cool. Let's go ahead and get into Siri shortcuts and HomeKit for a minute. We'll talk about HomeBridge in a second, but for many people, the Siri shortcut integration might just be enough. So you do have to set these up manually first in the app to be able to use them as you know Siri voice commands or in your shortcuts, but it's super easy to do from the Roborock app. There are lots of options from start cleaning, pause, resume cleaning, return to dock, selective room cleaning, set robot suction, and more. All that can be added to your Siri shortcuts. Just create it here, add your custom phrase, and then you can use that command on your HomePod or other Apple devices to control the vacuum. That'll also give us the ability to use these commands in our Siri shortcuts and personal automations, which can be really great. Set a new automation every time I leave home in the morning to run the vacuum and turn off all my lights, for example. Or maybe set an NFC tag to start the vacuum. Ooh, a really good one. Set an NFC tag in each room that can trigger the vacuum to come to that room and clean that specific room that would be really cool, all with just the tap of your phone. One that I set up is a choose from menu vacuum shortcut that will present me with a list of options that I can easily choose from right here on my home screen. This is great and is quickly becoming one of my favorite shortcuts right now. But if that isn't enough and you must have this working in HomeKit so you can see it alongside your other smart home accessories in the Home app and automate it with your other HomeKit stuff. It can be done thanks to HomeBridge. For those that don't know, HomeBridge is a way to integrate smart home devices into HomeKit that otherwise don't natively support it. HomeBridge is usually ran on a Raspberry Pi or another small always on computer. So I use the verified HomeBridge plugin called HomeBridge Xiaomi Roborock Vacuum. I'll drop a link to that below. The plugin is also Hoob certified, so it should work in Hoobs as well if you're using that instead of HomeBridge. I did try it out in HomeBridge and it does work well for me. A little tricky to set up as you do need to get the token of your robot vacuum. Shout out real quick to Eddie D'Souza. He made a video that shows the easiest way that I found to get this token uh, using actually another HomeBridge plugin. I'll put a link to that video down below. Check out that video if you need details on how to get that token. The caveat here is that for this to work, you do have to be using the Mi Home app instead of the Roborock app. The Mi Home app basically gives you all the same features of the Roborock app minus the live view of the camera. So from what I can tell, you do have to use one or the other. You can't use them both. So if you do decide to set this up with HomeBridge, you'll probably have to use the Mi Home app and will have to miss out on that live view feature that you get with the Roborock app. Some give and take there. But once configured correctly in HomeBridge, this plugin brings the vacuum into HomeKit as a fan. Again, since vacuums aren't natively supported in HomeKit, it shows up as a fan. And the cool thing is that it gives you all kinds of sensors and accessories in HomeKit for automating, including support for rooms and zones, filter maintenance, battery status. There's an optional occupancy sensor for the dock status, which could be used in your automations. So there's definitely some benefits of integrating this into HomeKit, uh, you know, using HomeBridge or Hoobs if that's something you're into and you can utilize those automations. But honestly though, I really think the Siri shortcut integration because it's so good with this one is probably enough for most people, but either of these work, so you got options, which is good. Overall, as far as robot vacuums go, this thing has been amazing. It's definitely the coolest robot vacuum that I've ever used. As you can see, the feature set is just crazy. There's so many things that this can do. The Siri shortcut integration works really well in my experience, and I think that's a huge plus for anyone with a HomeKit smart home. And like we discussed, it works well in HomeBridge too, so you can bring it into HomeKit that way if that's more your flavor. 
Let me know in the comments down below what you think about this. Would this be a viable option for your home kit or smart home setup? Again, links to all the plugins and everything that we've talked about today will be in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe for new home kit videos every Sunday and live streams right here every Wednesday. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.